Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Trice. I'm a lecturer in writing, rhetoric, and professional communication here at MIT. Uh, this is my eighth year of teaching in 6033. I look forward to seeing a few of you in my tutorial section. And today we're going to talk a bit about genre. So what do we mean in 6033 when we talk about genre? Well, Carolyn Miller tells us that genre is a communicative act responding as social action. So what does that mean? It means that we recognize certain communication structures at play in certain contexts, but not in others, like jokes in a stand-up act versus jokes in a tax return. Anticipating those structures helps us understand and create the right types of communication for the right moment and the right purpose. So if I'm reading a research abstract, I anticipate a summary of research. I don't expect a commercial or meme, even though they share a similar purpose of drawing attention to an idea, product, or process. I also don't expect an ad for Advil to read like a biochemistry research abstract. Okay, let's revisit the start of this video. Hello. I'm Dr. Michael Trice. I'm a lecturer in writing, rhetoric, and professional communication here at MIT. Uh, this is my eighth year of teaching in 6033. I look forward to seeing a few of you. Now that's a pretty official sounding introduction. What if I had simply said, hey, how's it been? What is that signal? That I know you? That I don't have to explain who I am or why we're here? It's a more casual greeting for someone you expect to see. I can leave a lot of information implicit based upon the social context, the purpose, the audience. And we also will spend a fair bit of time discussing what is explicit and what is implicit in any given text and why. 6033, you'll quickly move from looking at magazine articles on systems design to reading research papers on system design. Lots of research papers on system design. You'll also be asked to decipher a design project description, write your own paper for speculative system in response to this design description. So to successfully write a complete and compelling system, you'll need to understand core elements of the system papers you read in class that will go well beyond content. What concepts are expected to be addressed in the systems paper? What arguments make a good introduction? How do we defend our methods and design choices? How do I describe a design choice and sound like a computer systems engineer? Many of these questions can be gleaned from understanding the genre of research papers and system engineering. But we'll also look at the specific steps or rhetorical moves expected in each section. We'll look at how to communicate explicitly and implicitly with an audience familiar with computer systems research papers. These and other tactics will be expanded upon throughout the term. But for now, just be aware that genres exist, shape our expectations, and start questioning why and how these two genres depend on being seen in the right context. 